Sit. Sit. Good boy. Okay. 2009, 1993. This engine has a cracked case right in there by that mount. I tried to schmooze it with JB Weld and all sorts of shit just to stem the flow of fluid oil out of there, which it only leaks while it's running. But still, a uh, hard landing from a botched wheelie um, jarred that enough to crack the center case. I don't know if it's just the left side or, or if it's the left and the right. I will discover that once I tear it down. But in the meantime, Mr. Lascola was kind enough to donate this engine for the cause. I'm tearing it down one step at a time, I guess. But I ran into some trouble with that. Some monkey had been inside of this engine before and tightened the frickin' hell out of everything. I mean, look, even this is all damaged. Oh, well, every little spot around there, like somebody pounded it off the screwdriver. Um, anyway, I bought this tool right here. It's pretty cheap. And. Well, I guess you get what you pay for. So I bought it to hold the sprocket while I, you know, put a breaker bar on there and a freaking 17 millimeter socket and try and wrench this freaking thing, wrench this nut off of there and it wouldn't budge, wouldn't budge. I even made up some makeshift extendo doohickey to put on the handle of this to give me extra leverage. Still wouldn't budge. What happened was the tool itself would twist and bend and come out of the holes. And this would happen before the nut would break loose. And as you can see, like that pin there is bent out of shape. And you know, I even had to modify this thing. I had to cut it open so that I could get a socket in there. And this, this was like, how the fuck is these? I don't even understand. This is a garbage tool. This is going in the recycle bin. Um, so, I thought about it. I was like, well, I don't even need to save the balancer chain. I mean, it's a parts engine. Like, I already have balancer chains. If I was going to get a balancer chain, I'd probably just buy a new one instead of a used one. So, I cut this one off with my trusty Dremel tool. And... Um... I have this quarter inch thick, four inch wide steel plate, and I was able to fas fashion a tool from the chain and the plate that allows me to hold, like this, this bolts in place into the, where the balance the chain tensioner, the thing in that bag down there, um, normally sits. And I had to shim it up to the height the, the, I had to shim the plate up to the height of the sprocket so the chain was in alignment um, with the sprocket because the mount of it sits low and there's like there's several washers underneath this plate on each side but these bolts are the bolts that go in the balance of chain tensioner like so I was able to just reuse those um, but yeah this holds it very well, and the sprocket in the center here even clears that just barely. Like, it's not going to, it doesn't interfere. Um, and this will actually also work for, this is the rear sprocket for, for the balancer. This will also work for the forward sprocket. one-handed holding the camera but you get the idea it holds it and keeps it from turning so that you can actually get on there and um, it worked like a charm it completely held it while I needed to do what I needed to do and now they are removed 
Um, but I suppose I'll run into the issue again when I go to tear this one down. But another point in this video is that I've been inside this 93 engine right here. Um, and there is a different style of balancer sprocket on there. The one that's in that bike right there has like weird spring of things and doodads and stuff inside here if I remember correctly. I mean it's not just a solid sprocket. So when I tear these down and I've got both of these engines apart and both sets of parts available, which ones should I replace it with? I mean I assume that the purpose of those spring of things in here is to give some, it's like probably like the cush drive in the rear wheel to give it some, some cushion, you know, smooth out the forces, I guess. So it, would it actually be better to have the spring of a thing, balancer chain, sprocket, doodads, or would it be better to have the solid? ones. What do you guys think?